Hello, hello, and welcome back to some more The Telos Principle. Last time we completed a block, mostly. We got all the, uh, the regular sigils out of it, but there are some stars that I may or may not go back for at some point. Um, now we're in this place. Things have suddenly become far more Egypt-themed. Um, we have a thing. It looks like a fan. Don't have enough for that though, so I guess we'll just wander straight into one. Didn't actually check what these things need. Um, cubes, reflectors... See, these involve fans already. I guess we'll be unlocking that pretty quickly then. Uh, sure. I have promised you eternal life. But know that eternity may only be attained by those who serve a purpose greater than themselves. All else is decay. So it was written in the hidden words before the beginning of time. Okay. Frogs are people too. I'm finally getting some sense out of the entity in the archive, though at some cost to my sanity. I'm beginning to think this Elohim wields no more control over the world than we do. Many yellow sigils. Right, fine. Stop beeping at me. You were just my favourite person today. You've been exploring that fancy pants tower of his, haven't you? Uh, I maybe. I just love it when he doesn't get his way. What do you see? Uh... Both the top and the bottom are very true. I guess I'll say more puzzles. Figures, and did he get in trouble? Did he even notice? Um, possibly. Not surprised, need to say I think you can afford to push it a little further before risking anyone's wrath. Of course, it's entirely up to you, isn't it? Terminate and support, resuming library archive session. We got files. Uh, Osiris. Dying man went unto the scribe who resided in Permejed and said, Behold, I am weak of body. My days under the holy sun of Amun Ra are coming to an end. I have spent my years in service of the two lands I have not studied. The, mm -hmm. Tell me. You are who are wise in the writings of the dead. What lies ahead on my journey? What will I face in the land of the Westerners? And the scribe spoke, saying at the appointed time... Blah, blah. The site of the location was changed according to who the copy of the book was made for. The dying man is an avatar of the owner. In the older manuscript, this is rendered as... Blah some controversy as to whether it the dead compare with Kenti Amintu, the foremost of the Westerners, a title later given to Osiris. Sometimes it's mistaken for a mistranslation on Budge's part, this is actually almost certainly a mistranslation by the ancient scribe. The equivalent portion of the older manuscript is sadly not exent. Ex extant. Let's go with that. Uh, lyrics. Not a video file. 24 million views, many song with lyrics. Gotta laugh about this stuff. Laughter is the best medicine. Everybody's got it except a dog. Woof. Um, some kind of virus then? That spread really, really rapidly? Uh, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm afraid of dying. I don't see any reason to believe there's an afterlife. I'm an organism like any other. When my brain stops working, my consciousness will cease and I will be gone. And you know what? I can't just embrace that. I can't say I'm okay with it, or that I've accepted it, or some nonsense like that. I don't want to have an ending. It terrifies me. If I had a genie right now, it would short immortality. Who wouldn't? Oh, but you wouldn't really want to be immortal, the pseudo-philosophers say. Potentious drivel. Everybody wants to live forever. Maybe everybody deserves to live forever too. But we can't, so here we are. Live with it. 
Or rather, don't. Hmm. Getting up there on the list of documents now. Uh, and yes, the, um... Their historical texts in the terminal seem to have gone all uh, Egypty as well. This looks nice, though. Uh, left, right, or straight ahead? Let's start with left, shall we? Go clockwise as I want to do. I made a box float! Seriously, it was awesome. Is that a hint? And what's over here? Anything? Didn't see a whole lot. This other side as well. Anything over here? Mm, no. Well, maybe on that side. For now, though, window through a door. Hello, laser. up there. Well, I don't see a whole lot to do other than... Hello? Link you to something, maybe? Not sure where, though. over there. Okay, another connector. Let's maybe just leave you here for the moment. And yes, I need to get back over there. Which is the reason why you're a bother. Because if I just try to do this. Okay, I can still just about make it through. I just don't understand this one. I figured I'd try and make some progress here, but honestly it's a thankless task compared to what else is out there. Okay, I think I have an idea of what it wants me to do. Hold there a sec. Keep that door open. Because I think I want to laser through this door instead of around there. Um, in order so that I can hit that, yes. Okay. I take you, point you at that. Hmm. How am I going to do this while maintaining this connection, though? This. Yeah, there we go. And that frees up this one. So 
So then I can simply do that. And yeah, you take a lot slower to warm up because you need to not be blocked by the mine. Ta-da! Why did that need to lower though, really? I feel like there must be a reason behind that. So otherwise I could just literally go like that, and there's not much reason for that to exist. Hmm. Maybe it's part of the star. I don't even know where the star is yet. Something to think about later then. Let me just quickly check that that is still going fine. Yep, lovely. Uh, whoop, fail the jump. I should do it fine on the other side. Yeah, I'll just do it from up here. And there is, in fact, something here. Hello again, I've been checking your responses against library archives and in order to assist you further I need some additional information. Can you tell me what is important? What is to you the important difference between a pebble and a tree? Uh... The, the tree is alive. The relevant difference between a tree and a frog? Uh... I don't particularly think frogs are delicious. Then again, I've never eaten frog. I know that's a thing. Anyway, the frog is conscious. The difference between a frog and you? Uh, the difference between sapiency and sentiency. Self-awareness. Uh, I'm not convinced that view lines up with the definition of a person you provided earlier. Still doubting your assumptions isn't something to fear, it's an intellectual survival instinct. I'm pleased to see you adapting your ideas to your environment. Let us take stock. I think we can tentatively conclude two things. A person must be rational or self-aware. A person must be conscious. What I suggest we do to help resolve your problem is ask if you are in fact either of these things. These things? Are you aware of yourself? Can you rationalise your existence? Uh... I feel like I exist. I can poke myself. So sure. I tend to agree with you. Their responses have been a little... eccentric. I am resigned to admit that you are right. The matter of whether or not you are conscious seems rather more elusive. What is consciousness in your opinion? Oh, uh, that, honestly. No. Yes, kind of. Also, this is a mathematician's answer. Technically, yes, but it doesn't mean anything. It hardly answers the question. What is it in ordinary terms? Can I touch it? What is it made of? Uh... That's true. That's... Probably true, depending on your definition of what a soul is. Uh, possibly. I don't think we're quite there with our current understanding of the laws of physics, but eh, there's stuff we don't know. Uh, and yeah, again, true. Um, interesting thinking. You know, I feel like we're making progress. We'll have you through that certification program in no time. In the meantime, I'll mull over your pros and identify if I come to any conclusions. The role of mutation in evolution is particularly fascinating. Mutation is essentially an error in the organism's central database. A variable gets changed, a piece of information is accidentally doubled or combined with another. Most of the time, the result is the equivalent of a bug, causing anything from minor problems to complete a system shutdown, i.e. death. But sometimes the new information is functional, giving the organism an advantage against the challenges it faces, in which case it has a much higher chance of being passed to the next generation. 
If you consider how unlikely a beneficial mutation is, and how long it takes for such a mutation to propagate, this process can give you an amazing insight into just how vast the genetic history of each living organism. Simultaneously, it is intriguing to consider what a major role random errors have played in the evolution of life itself. The same process that have killed so many of us often in horrific ways is also responsible for our very existence. Uh, from Trevor Donovan to Alexandria Drinnen. No worries, EL is not only ridiculously fast, but it also has a bajillion tons of space. Even while hosting a full copy of the archive, it'll totally be able to handle all your project's data needs, assuming its output is as he suggested. I mean, the worst case scenario would be like centuries. That should be enough, right? Right? Uh, how long has it been, though? One of the most common misunderstandings about evolution, sometimes accidentally promoted by people who should know better, is that it's an active process. Sometimes the term evolve is even applied to individual beings as if some invisible force had driven them to subtly change. But the truth is that individuals don't evolve. The term evolution describes a long-term process that can be involved in an entire population across time due to... Example in response to an external threat or challenge. If an individual coincidentally has a trait that allows it to deal with that challenge more effectively than others, it is more likely to pass on that information to its descendants. That information gives them an advantage, so over time they become the dominant model of that species. The individuals experience no significant genetic change during their lifetimes, but each of them is part of the evolution of the species. And whoop, and miss. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Jump. Nothing. Okay. Something about a star. Hello, mine. Other mine. Okay. Ah, there's the star. And there's that. Well, we don't even have any red lasers in here, so we're clearly going to need to beam one in from somewhere else somehow. I wonder. Yeah, and that is slow. Maybe, I think, if I put this down just right, I can just about make it through here. Barely, but yes. Fine. Puzzle itself easy. Getting you. Maybe not quite so. Uh, but I have an idea. Which is beam right across this entire area. you. Can I connect to... I can. Aha! Beam! So I can beam through doors. That is good information to know. That might help me for some things back in block A as well. Yoink.
There are hidden dangers in this new world. I have inexplicably escaped death any number of times. I suggest a vigilance. Who knows what happens to those who step carelessly too often. Samsara. I don't remember what Samsara's the name of. Um. Or even what culture it's from. It's definitely something, though. Uh. Hello. I can write up any things. Uh. Let's go with that. Okay. Well, I see one already. Let's try this way. Third wheel. Beam. Button. Uh, there we have the blue emitter and a connector. And a connector. Another one over there. Uh, we even have a red meter. I'm gonna be beaming things through doors again, aren't I? We don't even have a third emitter in here, a red emitter. We only have a blue. I don't think I can do anything here. I need a red beam. Oh, hi. Uh... How did you come to be carrying that box? What's this thing even called again? Over the fence. What is gonna happen to that cube now? Not much. It's surprisingly explosion-proof. Okay, I can just hop over with one. Just need the other so I can get back out again. Okay, well... I don't think I'm going to be doing too much else of this. No lasers in there. Road of death. Alright. If I take that box away. Just make it straight through to the other end perfectly safely. Okay, then. What if... I do that. I assume there's some reason why I want that cube over there. I can get it through perfectly safely like that. Yep. Button. There's no lasers around here either, so I guess I'm just missing something. Cease! 
In the time of your ancestors, there were those who did not choose the path of faith. Like that. You do not need to fear their ghosts. Fear only that you may become like them. simple enough. Do that, do that, grab you, go around and through. And then I need one left over. Standing real far back. And I stand far back enough for that to work. Yeah. Not like that. Oh yeah, just about. Need to do anything particularly fancy? Right, well, nothing especially challenging in that set of puzzles. as well. Let's unlock the fan then. Let's see, like... Hmm, not like that. I feel like that has to be one of the corners there. I can't leave a gap like that. That'll do. Next. I see all. I know all. My power knows no bounds. And yet your will is free because you were made to be free. It is the very principle of your existence without which the trials of this world would hold no meaning. To seek salvation must be your choice. Uh, it's the same set of options as the previous one. It's with the one I've already done removed. I keep having these dreams. Great empty cities. Silent roads stretching for miles. The earth from space, all dark. Not a single light to guide me home. But if someone really came from another world, what would the earth look like to them? A wilderness? A wasteland? I don't think so. Even after thousands of years, they'd see a world shaped by our hand in every aspect of its being. They'd see the cities and the roads, the bridges, the harbors. And they would say, here lived a race of giants. These dreams, they scare me, but they also remind me that we built all of this. Though the term science has only meant what it does to us for around 600 years, its practice far predates the name. There is evidence pre-Aristotle which indicates soothsayers, mystics and the like may have employed basic scientific methods to predict the future and confound their benefactors. 
One anecdote concerns a palm reader who was exposed when two wealthy clients compared their readings and found them to be identical. In 1948, the tendency to discover deep personal meaning in vague descriptions delivered authoritatively was given a name. The Foro Effect. Today it is recognised in all contemporary psychological theory. Oh man, if there's one thing good about inevitable death, it's the food. Yeah, baby, I'm gonna have all the horribly unhealthy food in the world. I'm gonna feast on jelly bananas like a crazy monkey on Monkey Christmas. How do you know those muffins that have so much chocolate they're basically melting? That is going to be my breakfast. And burgers for lunch. I'm going to have burgers so greasy you could use them to lubricate a whole factory. Triple bacon burgers with double cheese and extra onions and mayonnaise and ketchup and mustard and big fat juicy patties. And then an oily thick pizza with spicy salami and barbecue sauce and olives and yapinos and sour cream. Food coma, here I come! That does not look like a good entry for a weight loss blog. Fascinated by Drennan's project. Lovely conversation regarding the Talos Principle. Greek philosophy, relevance to current situation. Suggested naming Project Talos. Drennan refused, but name seems to have caught on with the team. Tens and of hundreds thousands of files coming in every hour. Our whole history. Let's just go all uh, clockwise again. Fans and cubes and connectors. Moon shot. Where is the moon? Oh, it's up there. Really shouldn't be at all surprising. Where else would it be? That's a strong fan. Okay, and button triggers the fan. Uh, can detach the fan. Not sure why I would want to do that quite yet. Assume you ought to be over there ish for some reason. Uh. Hmm. Or. Uplifted. And... I can potentially randomly throw the beam out here somehow. Don't know whether or not I'll need to yet. Seems like a good thing to do anyway. The tomb. Okay, so I get that I'm supposed to receive, retrieve these sigils, I just don't get why. Sure, the loud voice is telling me to, but this world of his has no context, no purpose, and no foundations from which to construct them. I'm convinced there are answers here if we work hard enough. We have to work together on this. Jammer. the connector though. Any connectors in here? Another door. There's a connector. Another connector.
think I need the jammer for that one, because there's no way I can beam around those walls. And I don't need the jammer there. Easy puzzle. Pointless, but we bring you all the way over here. Get another spot to bring a beam out. Really? Okay then. <laughs> Portal 2 Easter Egg, sure. Just gonna be playing in the background now, I suppose. Truly something. Truly one of the things of all time. Uh. Sure. Yeah. Uh huh. And it keeps talking to me about moon. Uh, okay, you can sit on buttons. And that faith plates me. I am totally going to call it that. Not only because of that. Okay, and I need something else. is fine. I have a something else here right now. No sign of the star yet. I have come to see that these mysteries are not all for his children to solve. Only the designer himself could ever truly understand the infinite complexity of his creation. I will gaze at his work and worship. I will 
gaze at the massive aperture science logo in the sky and become extremely distracted. Higher ground. Well, like up here. Um. Much larger puzzle. Jammers and jammers. Oh, where can I jam from? I can jam from a long way away. Well, uh, I feel like getting you two out of sync is probably a good start. Jam that, maybe? I can't bring any of the jammers in here with me. There's keys over there. Let's see what we've actually got going on in here properly. There's two moving back and forth that I've already stopped from being a problem. Another jammer up there. Walls. I've got to get to go around and snag that. have that, I can move you, maybe jam that back there. Oh, yep. Right, so I need another. Uh, Epitaph Child Program. Code name, one with faith, terminated here. Logic web shipped the designer for uh, days, then allowed the serpent into its heart. Final memory dump. I asked the designer for forgiveness that I may join him in the, the eternal memory. Fortunately, programs samsara sleep. I guess someone met their end here. Seems like we're all connected somehow, like distant family relations. Different versions, different series, what are we? Who cares? Just be grateful we don't have to read anything more about our great designer. The Greek. <laughs> oh, I see. That's going to be useful, yeah. Uh, I'll reach it from there, though. Need to go bring you back around over here, jam that, hop through. Bring you in here so you can momentarily stop that and get those two out of sync. Should be more than long enough. Do, 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 do. Grab you. Uh, well, this will be fine. Uh, probably. Do, 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 do. Jam that down through. Jam that from this side. Round through. Swap you to there. And we got there. those two. Dodge those two. And we're there. Ah, 
Alright, well... Not sure where the star is, though. Nothing out there, that's just decoration. It looks like there's something there. But I can't connect to it. As far as I can see, absolutely no sign of any stars. Here's what I've been wondering while you're off carrying out commandments. You say that consciousness is some kind of functional system, a range of its matter in the white order, and outspring sentience. That's all very well on paper, but if what counts is something is what something does, not what it's made of, then couldn't you and I design a series of tin cans and strings that qualified as being conscious? See, yeah, now we get into um, the bothersome bit of this entire string of logic, but yes, I suppose. What a bizarre idea. I'll send you a notification when the signposts start complaining. Seriously though, are the tides and ecosystem sentient as well? Any organized system qualifies? You can't really tell on that bigger scale. It's... it's not impossible. How would we know? We're quite bad, I'm sure of it. Of course, the alternative Do not think answer is so ridiculous. I know ridiculous. not the deceiver slithering through the hidden words. His wisdom is hollow and born of despair. Do not let him tangle you in his webs of delusion. Have faith in me, and his petty illusions will fall away like nightmares in the morning's light. Thank you, Imello. I'm quite mad, I'm sure of it. Of course, the alternative accounts are all so ridiculous, you'd be forgiven by any reasonable observer for choosing the best of a bad bunch. Our consciousness can be so intimately familiar to you, and yet so obscure, I just don't understand. Don't mind him. He's just worried that if you ask too many questions, you'll start to see through his shtick. Stick with me and the sky will quite literally be the limit. At any rate, I'd like you to think a bit harder about all this and get back to me. I'm sure there's still progress to be made. Science to be done. Portals to be shot at lunar surfaces. Um, spoilers, I guess. Yeah, where the heck is that star then? I didn't see a hide nor hair of it in that one. I don't think which signpost it is on makes any difference in the slightest. Um... Right, on we go. Number three. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Daytime. With possible trace amounts of sandstorm. Not Darude, just regular sandstorm. Is that even a funny joke at this point? Probably not. Uh, the basic skeleton of the simulation is now running on EL. It's not plugged into the AI system yet, but in theory everything is ready. I guess the next step is to test whether the generated scenarios make sense, or do we wait for the iteration module to... The first wisdom, a scribe said to the dying man, is that as the world is made of five elements, so is the soul of man. 
Know, therefore, that in this life you are heart and shadow and name, and also car and bar. Without all of these, you would not be a living thing, but a being. What is a man without a name who cannot speak of himself? What is a man without a shadow who is not anchored in the world? What is a man without a heart who can neither feel nor think? What is a man without a car who has no essence? What is a man without a bar who is not himself but like unformed clay? Therefore, praise Osisis, the King of Eternity, the Lord of Everlastingness, the eldest son of the womb of Nut, he who traverses millions of years in his existence. Here, the translator is clearly inserting his own beliefs onto the text as. Democrates Altar, or on the just causes for war against the Indians. Written in 1557 to justify the Spanish conquest of the Americas. The Spanish have a perfect right to rule those barbarians of the New World, who in humanity are as inferior to the Spanish as children are to adults or women are to men, for there exists between the two as great a difference as, I might even say, between apes and men. Compare, then, these gifts with those possessed by these half-men, in whom you'll barely find the vestiges of humanity, who do not only possess any learning at all, but are not even literate and eat human flesh. Therefore, if you wish to reduce them, I do not say to our dom domination, but to a servitude a little less harsh, it will not be difficult for them to change their masters. Ugh. Bleh. Right. Where am I going? Signposts everywhere. Can't jump that wall. Well, hello. I knew there had to be something back here. It is commonly supposed that the Egyptians believed the soul to live as long as the body continued undissolved, and therefore tried this method of eluding death. Did the wise Egyptians, said Nakia, think so grossly of the soul? If the soul could once survive its separation, what could it afterwards receive or suffer from the body? The Egyptians would doubtless think erroneously, said the astronomer, in the darkness of heathenism and the first dawn of philosophy. The nature of the soul is still disputed amongst all our opportunities of clearer knowledge. Some yet say that it might be material, who nevertheless believe it to be immortal. Uh, names are a funny thing. I remember how much we struggled to come up with a name for our project. All serious scientists name their projects by just translating them to Greek or Latin, right? Corpus made me think of some horrible disease, so we used the Greek word instead. Soma. Quite appropriate. But then, since we needed corporate funding, we had to come up with a backronym. Corporations love backronyms, you know. They even sent us a list of buzzword heavy suggestions to help us get started. Stuff like self sufficient orthostatic modular android, sustainable observant mechanized anthropoid, Skeleomorphic Omni Adaptable Mobile Anthropomorphination. After a while, we got so frustrated that we started getting silly. Saber toothed Overexcited Murder Android. Sentient Orthopedic Monkey Automation. Strange Olga's Menacing Assasso Bot. Superb Octopod Marinides Aplings. Scrunk Oof Minky Ack. Stupid, obscure, meaningless acronym. In the end, we all just ha ended up hating the name Soma just because we had so many fights about it with the sponsors. So when Alexandria told us that story about the task principle, then it caught on. I don't know whether it really fits, but I kind of like it. Stupid, obtuse, meaningless acronym. A lot of empty space. Mm. 
Oh, hi. Theory. This place is some kind of preserve for human history and we're the endangered species. Theory. Trying to find answers will only bring pain. Ceasing to care is the only escape. Theory. This guy is ten times more help than you, Samsara, so shut your face. Theory. We're in some kind of incubator, waiting to be hatched. Theory. If you knew how little you know, you wouldn't be exposing it here. Sunshot? Not again. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I fling both the cubes over. I'm fine. The ladder's on both sides. Let's do that then. Can I detach these fans as well? I could. There, though. Yep. Fine. Not even sure what that unlocks. What's that symbol? Person lifting tray? There's definitely no way I can uh, laser beam anything from over there, because there are no laser beams. Bands and cubes. Ooh. I figured it out! Now what? The only meaningful purpose is to bring about the end of purpose. Whoosh! Okay. Um, that beam is already pointing where it needs to go, so I guess I need to interrupt it. Same with the red. I guess I need that fan for something. Yeah, I don't really have any fans currently. Crouch? Is there a crouch button? I haven't needed a crouch button yet. I guess I should check the options. No crouch. There's, however, a ladder on that side. There you go. Right. And I have two cubes and a fan. And the first thing that I would like to do is this. Block that beam. 
how that nets me a second fan. Okay, I need to fire back up again. Well, now I have two fans, and I have two cubes. Oh, what do I want to do with them all? Where am I even trying to get to? I could even nick that. Now I have three fans. I want to block the blue beam. around a lot. What if I stack them all on top of one another? Right, idea. Uh, it's a strong fan. Yeah, I do only have two cubes. If I stack them, they do not go up nearly that high. Um... Well, I can swoop. I can swoop very rapidly. the second box though really pieces than I really need. Ended up with one box that I didn't need and one fan that I didn't need. I don't know what else I could even do with them really. Can't bring them out. <laughs> 